Hello everyone. In today's episode, we will be discussing about Azure Network Watcher. This is basically a primarily designed for infrastructure as services, IS deployments within the Azure cloud environment. It offers a suite of tools and features that are particularly useful for managing and troubleshooting the network aspect of IS resources such as virtual machines, VMs, virtual network VNets, and network security groups. Let's discuss who are going to be the actual beneficiary in IS context. If you are network administrator and engineer, manages the network infrastructure for IS deployment, ensuring reliable and optimized performance. If you are cloud architect designing and validating network architectures for IS deployment, ensuring scalability, security and compliance. If you are part of the security team who monitors network traffic, security event with an IS environment, detecting and responding to potential threats. If you are part of the DevOps team, integrate network monitoring diagnostic into CI CD pipeline, ensuring continuous network health during deployments. Least but not least, if you're part of the IT operations team, maintaining the overall health and performance of IS resources using diagnostic tool to quickly resolve network issues. Let's discuss about the use cases. First use case can be diagnostic of connectivity issues. You can quickly identify and resolve connectivity problems between VMs and other network resources. You can also do the traffic analysis while capturing and analyzing network traffic to troubleshoot performance bottlenecks or security incidents. You can also use this feature for security monitoring. You can use NSG flow logs to monitor and analyze traffic to potential security threat and compliance verification. You can also use this feature set for the VPN connectivity while ensuring a stable and secure VPN connection between on-prem infrastructure and Azure IS resources. In summary, Azure Network Watcher is an essential tool for managing and troubleshooting the network infrastructure in the Azure IS deployment. It provides the necessary visibility and the diagnostic to ensure the health, performance, and security for your IS resources. Here are the sum of the key feature and the functionality of Azure Network Watcher. You can navigate while searching Network Watcher from the Azure portal. And this is a screen which you are going to get. So let's first discuss about the first feature, which is going to be the topology visualization. In this, you can visualize the topology of your virtual network, showing you the relationship and the connectivity between the various network resources, such as virtual machines, subnet, and network interfaces, which you can visualize from here. The second feature is going to be your connection monitor. And this is a very powerful tool for continuously monitoring the connectivity between source and destination environments, allowing you to identify and address network issues such as high latency, failures, or endpoint throttling. This feature is especially useful for maintaining the performance and reliability of application that rely on the network connectivity. So when you navigate to this connection monitor options, you get monitoring tests like ICMP, TCP, HTTP, and the same thing you can see when you set up your network watcher for connection monitor. So these are the protocols you can choose to do the connectivity test. You need to choose your source and the source can be Azure endpoints and it can be non Azure endpoints as well. And when you go for adding a destination, and that can be again your Azure endpoints, it can be non Azure endpoints and it can be any internal or external address which you want to mention manually. There are two ways you can monitor or look into the data 
matrix one is you can use a network watcher which is a cloud native and another thing you can do you can go for tools like site 24 into 7 or dynatrace and these are the tools going to ingest metric from azure metric api for azure network watcher the third feature is going to be the traffic analytics traffic analytics basically leverages your Azure Network Watcher flow logs to provide actionable insight into the network activity, security and performance by visualizing network traffic, identifying high traffic areas, securing the network against potential threats, optimizing deployments and pinpointing misconfigurations. Traffic analytics helps maintaining a robust and efficient cloud network infrastructure. Further, you can break it down how does it do? So the activities are going to be visualize network activities, identify hotspots, enhance network security, and optimize network performance and capacity. So let's further discuss what are these areas and how they help you to build a robust infrastructure. With the first option, which is visualize network activities, you gain a comprehensive view of the network activities across all your Azure subscription. You can understand how data moves through your network, which can aid in capacity planning and troubleshooting your infrastructure. The second area is going to be identify hotspots. Basically, you can detect areas with high traffic volumes, optimize your network performance by addressing those condition points. The third one will be the enhanced network security and how you can do that. You can basically identify open ports. Those are accessible from the internet, which may pose security risk. You can monitor your internet accessible applications whether you are trying to attempt something on the internet or something is being accessed from the internet that to ensure your you check your compliance with the security policies you can also detect vms connecting to unauthorized networks while doing all these things you can ensure that the application and the infrastructure what you are running in azure is compliance with your security policies Fourth, you can optimize network performance and uh, capacity, which you can do by analyzing traffic flow pattern across Azure regions and internet. You can optimize network deployment to improve performance and ensure efficient use of resources. The last option is pinpointing your network misconfiguration you can identify configuration error that can lead to the failed connections ensure the network setting align with your intended design and the operation standard the next option is ip flow verify here you can mention your virtual machine network interface and the connectivity which you want to test while mentioning the protocol and the direction this you can use to verify if a packet is allowed or denied based on your nsg rules that helps you to troubleshoot access issue within the is network in the next option under network diagnostic tool which is nsg diagnostics and this is very, very similar to IP flow verify. This basically logs traffic passing through an SG, providing insight into the traffic pattern and security event affecting IS resources. Next stop, that is basically to determine the next stop for the packet leaving a VM. And this is very useful for verifying the routing configuration in your IS deployment. So here is an example what we have taken. I had a resource under the resource group generic and this is a Windows machine and this is the network interface attached and the source IP is 10.0.4 which is the first IP from the VNet. So I 
thought of checking what is the next stop when I reach out to dot four 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 four. So when you click on the next stop, what it is telling, since this is the external IP address and your next stop type is internet, uh, which is the right one. The next one is effective security rules. So here you can basically the download the effective security rules and the network security group associated with your resource. So I have chosen a subscription, choose your resource group, choose your virtual machine. And when you do that, it is going to run some checks and it is going to return the NSG group, which is associated with this machine. And you can also download all these things. The next one is a VPN troubleshoot and that is a self explanatory this is basically meant to diagnose issue with your VPN connections ensuring reliable connectivity between your on-prem infrastructure and Azure IS resource so what you need to do here you need to choose your virtual network gateway where you are terminating those VPN connections and start troubleshooting the issue the next one is a packet capture and it is like any other network packet capture tool like Wireshark or something which basically captures your network traffic to and from your VMs adding in detailed traffic analysis and the troubleshoot network issues. So you need to add a packet capture while adding the packet capture you need to choose all these resources your subscription your resource group your target type and then you need to mention the target instance and the packet capture name and a storage account where you want to save this packet capture and top of that you can also put those filters and those are optional and these are fields are going to be the default however you can change it and start your packet capture connection troubleshoot that also comes very handy when you want to do the diagnose connectivity issue between your IS resources such as VM and the external endpoints helping to identify and resolve the network issues and it is very very simple you need to choose your source then in this case this is a virtual machine so you need to choose your virtual machine here and then you need to mention a destination whether that is going to be another virtual machine or you can specify your destination manually and then the probe type it is a kind of connectivity type which you want to test so it can be TCP it can be ICMP and you need to mention those ports and the source port and run your diagnostic test uses and quotas so for every object on Azure you might have some hard limit or the soft limit if it is a soft limit which can be adjusted by you or you can open a support ticket to the support team they can adjust on behalf of you so this comes very handy so you don't need to recall and remember the limits which is allocated to the resource type so here i can see let's take a look on this public ip address default allocation is 10 and i'm using 4 it means the 40 percent quota is already used and i can use another six ip address there's an edit option I can edit it from here and I can adjust the limit if you see this option that means you need to open a ticket to the support team they can adjust on behalf of you the next section is logs and this is also self-explanatory you can see the flow logs migrate flow logs and diagnostic logs and all these logs can be stored and you can also choose your retention policies how many days you want to keep those logs as well thank you for watching and i will see you in the next section